wanted to do this Instagram Live today and video for our YouTube fans is to discuss what we're coming out with in 2019 and probably early 2020. And we have some samples and stuff to show you guys too, which is pretty cool. Um, we have some pre-done questions that we've seen either on YouTube posts or Instagram posts or Facebook posts. So we're gonna start with those. Bill, our illustrious cameraman, is going to ask those fantastic questions. Bill, what's the first one? Everest switched manufacturers on our rubber production, and we are now using a new manufacturer. So you'll notice that your Everest band that you may have bought a year ago is a little different than the one that you are buying now. Um, the Just some main and big improvements are uh, the channel where the uh, tongue of the buckle goes through has been increased and improved. Um, I would say that the rubber's a slight bit different, but it's the same material. And um, it says Swiss made now on the bottom. Um, just a few little things, but it's I think a big improvement for the company's main product line. Uh, we changed some colors, improved uh, the blue, the green, uh, orange and red pretty much stayed the same. And um, we added gray, which is pretty exciting. Uh, black is black, so it's always gonna be that way. We added uh, some different watch roll options. So we added uh, twos and fours. Uh, and I think that was a really big, strong move for us um, because now you guys have more options to show off your watch and travel with it. Uh, we also, um, I think we ordered a few, uh, offered a few more colors of watch pouch colors. That's kind of nice. And we're also going to be rolling out some more spring bar options for you guys. So you guys will have the ability to get spring bars from for the, uh, well I'm going a little forward here, but we, we, we had some more spring bar options. I think the deep sea finally kind of came into play just recently, which is really cool, is the Tudor Black Bay Spring Bar. So uh, for Tudor owners, they now can purchase those uh, uh, replacement Black Bay Spring Bars from us. So, cool. so that's the, I think that's kind of a very quick nutshell of what we got, what we came out with new. Um, oh, and oh, I can't forget the nylon strap. We actually came out with that nylon curved end leather, or nylon curved strap. Really, really cool strap for you guys. So. What happened? Good times, lots of fun, um, but also some new product ideas were discussed and we are moving forward with all of them. Um, so we showed them to our retailers. We had about 50, 60 retailers that came to our little booth and we invite you next year if you're at Baselworld to come to the booth and you can see the product. Um, I think the big request has been more color variations in the rubber. So we are coming out with a completely Swiss made camo version of the Everest band, which is pretty exciting. It'll first release in a blue, gray, black version. Um, we also, uh, I think we showed some kind of variances to the new, uh, the new rubber line uh, from this new company. Big things were also that we are now offering Panerai in uh, leather in a very short amount of time. So keep your eyes on Instagram and also on the website. That'll be coming out. Also, Tudor in leather, so Tudor Black Bay owners and Black Bay Chrono owners are going to be able to get those Tudor uh, leather straps that we were showing off. Also, I have today with me, which is pretty exciting, the new Panerai rubber strap prototype. And I know you probably can't see it super well, but uh, it really is a super cool strap. Um, some minor changes off of the prototype, but Man, you know, got that new channel. Uh, for the first time ever, we're putting the Everest logo on the tip, which is pretty exciting. That's pretty cool. Um, and also the channeling itself is just really neat on this product. We also are offering uh, Explorer 2 and Sea Dweller 43. So the, the Sea Dweller 43 customer base that's out there that's really dying for a really killer rubber strap. We're coming out with those two new options. That's pretty exciting for you guys. This was shown at Basel World in a different form of prototype, but this is coming out. This is pretty cool. We call it a watch portfolio. And what it is, is a, oh my gosh, the leather we make is just the best. This is, I can't, I can't tell you how much I love this stuff, but um, this is a, uh, a true travel piece for those guys. Uh, we're talking mostly probably to the Red Bar and Watch Meetup group guys. They want to bring a couple watches with them uh, to a meetup. 
and they want to travel with them safely. So first, on the outside, there's a really nice zipper. It, it, it has a really cool pouch that allows you to put oh, anything, but most likely spring bars, spring bar tools, uh, maybe a strap if you really wanted to. It has two snaps. The interior is this really nice suede material that we use. <clears throat> and it has three separate pouches for your watches. On this side over here, we've tried to put some straps in it and there's actually tools that you can also put in. Um, it's really a nice product because, we, again, we always use Swiss manufacturers for everything. And this, again, is, is coming right from those guys. But what's really nice is, oh, look at that. You can take one of these guys with you and um, this will be released in a, in a few weeks. So again, also keep on the website. It's probably gonna retail around the upper 300s, just below $400, around maybe 385. So um, we, haven't, we haven't been able to finite that price yet just because we're working our best magic with the manufacturers. But as you know, uh, you can't rush the Swiss and when quality is the most important thing, it just costs a lot. So those are two new ideas that were showed off at, shown off at Baselworld. So let's see what else questions we have for you guys. Well, first, let me say thank you to the Warren and Wound guys, both the people who put the show on and all of the great people who attended. Um, San Francisco is an awesome town, and it's really fun to go to that particular show. Um, really cool things that happened. Um, really just seeing old friends and meeting new ones. So uh, nothing particularly unique came out of that show. Um, got to show some of this cool stuff to people. Um, oh, you know what? One other thing I do, it kind of just hit me while I was thinking about this. We changed leather manufacturers on the watch roll. That's a really great question. Um, I'm a watch guy through and through. Uh, so I really wanted to come out with a Daytona rubber strap, uh, and I guess you'd say the Yachtmaster rose gold one. Um, it's kind of a replacement with a tang buckle. So a big goal of mine is to try and come out with that in the next year if I can. Um, I think the rest of the staff would really enjoy that too, because I know we got some Daytona owners and, and uh, rose gold ones. Um, I'd probably also say, um, Maybe the Black Bay Bronze, love that watch. Oh, Black Bay 58. Oh yeah, my gosh, what am I saying here? We've got a bunch of, we've got work and we got, ugh. we are working on the Black Bay 58 for you guys. Sorry, that kind of came out pretty sloppily, but yes. So the Black Bay 58 is also in the mix. Um, killer watch, super killer watch. I think that's everything that I'm hoping for, wishing for that I could have come out with this year. Or I shouldn't say I, our company, our company. Pick one, Panerai, Panerai Rubber. I'm super excited about that right now because I think that the Panerai Rubber line uh, is just neat. The Panerai guys just need a really cool rubber strap. And we're, we, you know what, we crushed this thing. I mean, I put it on the other day and wore it around the office. It's amazing. It's like a super cuff on your wrist. It's, it's what the Panerai owner has been desiring for a rubber strap for a long time. So I'm happy, I'm excited to put the nail on this one. Yes, so you guys will probably see a lot of pictures from just myself in Switzerland. Um, so I'll be there for two months. But what do I do while I'm there? So I work with our vendors to speed up the timelines of production, number one. Number two, I keep them on track and developing the ideas that we come up with for you guys. Uh, number three, I work with uh, a small group of designers. Uh, it's just two other designers and myself and we really try and come up with great ideas to make things more comfortable, more um, uh, better, basically resistant from elements and, and really just coming up with a better move. But also, as you may or may not know, um, I am part of a watch brand called Manta, uh, mantawatch.com, and uh, at mantawatch on Instagram if you're not already following that brand. And I'm there to develop uh, both what we're gonna come out in Basel 20, 20 and also manage the production of a new product called the Atlas. So I'll be there doing a combination of things. Also, fun in the sun. Come on, guys, I'm going.
go in Switzerland and have a very enjoy myself. So, you know, it's, there's croissants and, you know, it's beautiful lakes and mountains and, but a lot of it really is trying to keep our, our team on, in, in production and on, on, uh, on schedule, so. Pipe dream. Omega uh, Speedmaster line. It's a bit of a pipe dream right now. I think that would be really cool if we could nail that. Um, bit of a pipe dream, kind of really develop a uh, ballistic nylon line for travel accessories for watch owners. That would be a pipe dream, but I think I really want to try and make that. Just It's just too far in advance for us. I'm very focused on leather goods. Um, a watch that teleports you from, no, I'm just joking. So yeah, no teleportation for watches. Sorry guys. All right, so we had quite a few people reach out and say hello to Michael. Georgie Mandani says hi. Horology Mania. You're the best, thank you. I owe you a couple Says hi. Um, even the Black Dial just stopped in and said hello. Hey brother, I saw you at Basel World. Thank you for stopping by the booth. Yes. So there the you go, answer simple yes. answer, yes. Uh, and then again, Georgie Mandani is saying hi from Paris. She's, she is the best in the business when it comes to connecting people and watches. So, thank you, Georgia. Well, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know the case extremely well. I mean, I, I love the Speedmaster. It's one of my most favorite watches. It's an iconic watch like the Submariner uh, or the Daytona, but uh, definitely feel like the Speedmaster um, I would have to be inspired by the design of the bracelet and Omega's overall design, their, their whole feel. I mean, we make aftermarket products. You know, we, we aren't part of Rolex, we aren't part of Omega, we aren't part of Panerai, but we try very hard to develop something that uh, if in fact this brand came out with something, um, we would feel that this is what they would come out with. So it's it's hard to develop right on the fly what, what we would come out with, but definitely something that was, it, it would be inspired by Omega's past in some way, shape, or form from a bracelet or maybe even inspired by a little bit of a rubber strap that came out that we liked, so. That is definitely in the pipe dream, but it's definitely in the want. Um, I was able to put on a few Paddock Aquanauts recently and pretty much fell in love with that watch in about two seconds, but who isn't in love with Paddocks right now? I mean, come on, the 5711 is literally on everyone's grail list and it's impossible to get. You know, it's like a $60,000 secondhand watch, but a $20,000 in-store watch, come on, oh my gosh. Um, but to answer the question, yeah, it, it's, it's the other side of this that most people really don't know is that when we make a strap, we actually have to uh, get the dimensions from the watch, which causes us to have to, uh, you know, get access to a single watch forever. And then, of course, we keep one for uh, picture purposes so that you guys in the world who own these watches can see the aftermarket products that we create. And um, Paddock is a, a probably one of the most amazing brands in the world. I have nothing but um, just, just, they're awesome. I mean, let's be honest. They're making a fantastic product today. Um, their their design uh, theory is literally timeless, and it truly is a awesome watch. So I, I'm sorry to tell you this. We don't have anything in the works on that, but it would be a, definitely an awesome thing to make at the company. Yeah, it's coming, guys. Um, insert, which is a we kind of a little brief design tech here. We make uh, an insert first that fits perfectly to the case. It's an easy install for you guys, and that insert design is, is has been done. The, the whole overall design is done, but that particular design is done uh, from a production standpoint. And now we're working on the rubber mold. So knock on wood, we're we're working super fast. I, I have learned to never rush the Swiss, because you do that just like rushing anybody else, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna mess it up. But the only other thing that we're gonna have to face is, and I'm really 
frustrated by this every single year, is the Swiss take off a month in August. It's going to be a tough timeline to put it all together by then. Probably won't happen, but we'll, we'll aim to try and make some, some leaps and bounds. That's why I'm going there. So. It's like saying, do I like my son Luca or my son Rocco better? Come on, boss. <laughs> Uh, it's like, that's a tough one. Um, you know, it's kind of depends on the watch. So on the Submariner, <clears throat> I think having the use of the deployant, adjustable, uh, easy, easy link, or, or uh, not easy link, the glide lock on the Submariner, I kind of like that, that particularly a little bit better. Um, not a big fan though of the polish center links on the GMT. So I don't want to scratch up my uh, GMT buckle, which I'm actually randomly wearing GMT Master 2 on camera. Love this thing. I don't want to scratch that buckle at all. And that polished center link just is, is a mess. So I always wear it on Tang. Always on Tang. So, okay, we got to wrap it up, guys. Have a great week. Thank you so much for everything. We'll see y'all later.